This playthrough is rated E10+. Plus. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Voldemort back here with another episode of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. In the last episode, we beat the Mask of Dark Earth, though it uh, attacked, or attached itself to Carmelita, but luckily we were able to uh, uh, remove it from her graces, not uh, uh, with the help of herself and her goons. Her goons. And uh, we got past that little section. Now it's... I tell you. The Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip-top condition. The best lot without question, truly. I'm not just saying this, truly. This is going to be our finest victory ever. Yes, yes, tomorrow we'll witness some legendary dogfighting. Uh, provided the other teams don't sabotage each other. When will they learn? Okay, he's done. I wasn't sure how long the conversation would go, but... But yeah, now we're in the good old land of... Uh, Holland, and uh... I forgot the town name already. It's like... Kachiprik, or whatever. But uh... Yeah, I can't speak Dutch. So! Uh, but yeah, we're here to uh... Get the help of Penelope. Psst, Sly! Hey, Sly! Sly, are you out there? Nope, sorry. Just us Black Bear and Goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. You don't want to stick around long enough to make sure I got there fine? Sly. Only he. Anyway, let's wing ourselves into the castle like a turtle in a wheelchair can. Love it. Neat. Anyway. Alright, let's uh, get inside the parents' castle so we can solve that art puzzle. But yeah, we're here to get the RC expert Penelope, and uh, she's the only one who could. Apparently, her skills are so so high high quality that we're gonna need her for this uh, this giggy gig. I'm not uh, I'm not saying she's not good at her job, but do we really need the RC stuff? But uh, Bentley says we do. We do. I trust this turtle. If Dimitri's intel is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Alright. We got electrical floors going on here. Or. Or maybe they're not. Alright, now we can talk. Alright. I wasn't sure if I could actually go through it and of course I almost get myself taken out by stepping in the electrical water, which looked obvious, but I don't know, I was just checking to make sure. Alright. Let's see. Is that it? I, no. Kinda looked like sounds like there's like like there's a layer or something like that I've noticed. This is what it feels Oh, because of zooming in, gotcha. Oh. Two, two, three. Looks like he has quite a few because I saw some paintings in uh, in another area as well. So I might have to do multiple ones to get the list. That's nah, it. It's empty. Lost. Try nice. the other. All right. Let's see if our skill is at controlling our. Uh... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, wow. Okay. I was like. <laughs> I had to like even myself out. I was like, whoa. Alright. I need number two. 
It'll be, clearly be this one. No other painting. Mm -hmm. 510, maybe? That seems to be the only number. I'm going to say that's... Oops. Oh, no, I did Okay. I was about to say, did I have to press that right? But I guess I did. Okay, five, ten. Oh, well, I thought there was like three paintings. Going on. We got the map. All right, now time to set up our plan. <laughs> okay, fellas. According to the Aces Flight lineup, We'll be flying against Team Iceland and Team Belgium in tomorrow's semi-final round. As you're all aware, we've only got a single play, while our opponents will be flying 15 apiece. You got that, guys? That's 30 to 1 odds against us. In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Burry and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium's hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then flap the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Burry and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogram handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the Guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck, carrying their lucky ice sculpture. Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams, so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. Well, let's look at our plan for the semifinals. We got pit, pit, lovable nations against each other. Iceland and Belgium. Oh, I knew that they were dangerous people. Belgians and Icelanders. Ugh. You know, they do their stuff that they do that's prejudice-ish. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> hit my, uh, hit back my chair. My chair's, like, starting to fall apart, so. I've only had it for a year. Uh, this newer one I've had was only for a year. And that's what you get when you buy cheap old, uh, Sam's Club chairs. Although I didn't buy it myself. Got it as a gift. I would have bought it somewhere else if I had the choice, but, eh, can't look the gift horse in the mouth. Anyway, let's, uh, let's frame Team Belgium first. Because they deserve it. Dang Belgians. You and your waffles. No. <laughs> anyway, um, alright, let's uh, let's do this. And we also. It's kind of a nice, uh, cool little. Uh, of course, they find me as soon as I. But does that work here? I don't think it does. Because I'm not even wearing the outfit that, that they actually use. Alright. At least that, uh. One ability is pretty effective. The, uh. Smoke bomb or whatever you want. Oh, did I ever? S I don't think I set the paraglider, did I? Uh, combat dot. So let's do our. Oh wait, what? Does, oh, is it automatic? Oh, okay, it's automatic. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> How many parachutes I go through in a day? It seems uh, with them just falling apart. But anyway, let's start the mission. All right. See that armored supply truck? It's en route to drop off Team Iceland's lucky ice sculpture for the semifinals tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. That's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll 
Is it ironic? Is that irony that we make this peace-loving guru his ability, his main use in the game is controlling people and throwing them in the thing, and throwing people into things? Okay, Murray, no I don't know. Pressure. I find you gotta find a team Belgian pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. If they notice being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces competition. You heard it here, fo you heard it here folks. Belgians, you're all stone-faced. Can't be made to laugh easily. Mm -hmm. Not gonna happen. Why don't you guys uh, lighten up a bit? Come on, Belgians. Come on. Come on, now. No, it's, it's not just... Uh, it's just it's just fun poking poking fun and silly stuff like that. That's not true. Oh, Belgians are apparently uh, um, oh, um, badgers. Yes. Hello, Belgium flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? He's like, what are you? I, I, I'm not even gonna try to do a Belgian accent. I need to get this. I need. I need. I need to get the sourpuss laughing. I should try uh, political humor. Oh, that's not. Oh, red did alarm. The chicken cross the road to France because it wasn't turkey. And you see, the chicken's not a turkey or a Turk. It's a chicken, a French hen. Uh, even I didn't get that joke. Well, I mean, I got it, but it was just like, what? Is, is Bentley really the funniest character out of all, all of them? I guess he is. When you think about it, he's seen, oh, he's, he's more jolly than the other one. All right, let's try uh, historical humor. What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? The brains of his enemy. Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I, I mean, you got to admit, it's pretty weird. Did Genghis Khan eat the brains of his enemies? Or... You know, I don't remember reading about that. I could be wrong, but... Alright, let's try impression. That Baron! He's always... I love flying! Don't go outside! Listen to me! I'm so smart! I'm the boss! My mustache is so macho! <laughs> That's pretty lame, huh? <laughs> Well, I think he's more confused than Stoneface in this case, so let's try intellectual humor. E equals MC squared times the hypotenuse, I don't know. I can't make heads or tails of this coin! <laughs> get it? I mean, I get it. It's totally funny because, like, when you flip a coin, it comes out either heads or tails. Come on, that's comic gold! I think my brain hurts. Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? Ta -da! Hey, fish! Stuck! Ugh. I need help! Hey! <laughs> okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. So, him almost dying from choking on his fist is making the guy laugh? Sure, why not? All right. Just... Wait. Oh, I did it too fast. Thief! Wah wah wah. Oh, only while he's laughing. I thought I just pulled too hard. Okay. Wait, I thought I hit him while he was laughing. Make the pull huh. while okay. he's laughing, Never mind. and he won't feel a thing. It's blue, and it... okay. I think I think I pulled it while he was like right as it ended. Like I finished the pull. That's probably why I got caught. So. I was like, I thought that was good. Yay. We got the handkerchief. He blows his nose into it by accident. Nice work. Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. Go from the comedy to the violence. Yes. Time to bash some heads. But uh, are Belgians down for gold lace handkerchiefs? Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. This is clearly... Bentley's en route to me with the monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. Yeah. Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. 
I realized after after the Cooper gang uh, uses Guru for their missions, I bet the medical uh, medical rates in the in the city or town or wherever they're from go go up the go skyrocket. You know, it's like what are you all in for? Smashed craniums. It's kind of interesting how fast like everyone is by the time. I wonder if I have to stay on or if I have to release my last time. But yeah, apparently everyone just gets like super fast as soon as. Must be Guru's magic stone of magic. All right, let's try someone else. Maybe a bunny rabbit will be faster. Yeah, little bunny rabbit. Oh yes. I I keep thinking like I'm in a Stooges cartoon when I do stuff like that, or a cartoon. You know? This is what you get, bugs, for all the crap you put in Elmer and Bud and, and Yosemite it's a good Sam start, but the truck oh, just powered up its automated defenses. You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Could get sticky. Okay, so now, so now they're now they've got extra. Where's the? Okay, there we go. So we actually have to, you know, jump over them or at least avoid them or something like that. Okay, we just jump like that. Gotcha. Yeah, we gotta watch out for those big old bear traps. Holy cow. Look at that thing. What type of bear are you gonna trap with that? Be careful, people. We're going into bear country. <laughs> Actually, hasn't Sly gone again, uh, run across some bears? Like, I think in the first game. Wasn't there, like, a bear when he went to the ice area or something like that? I know there was the Panda King from uh, the first game as well. I wonder what he's up to. Yeah, probably. Ah, uh, nuts! Come on, man. Oh, at least. Oh, wait, did I hit it? Oh, ah. I turned into a bat. You cannot see me. I am a chameleon. So, did I actually hit the, the truck that time, or, or not? Oh, oh, whoa. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about this one is. That's, the only thing I don't like about this one is the. Uh, um, is like you might accidentally like I might accidentally like uh, the, like the trap will uh, oops my chair's wheel fell off again Ugh. I need to get a new caster I just don't want to pay ten bucks for it too much. even when I was looking online I couldn't find anything that was super cheap which is weird do you think I would yeah I'm always afraid like they're gonna drop like a tr Yeah, they always drop a trap right by the time I, I get that shit. What? Come on, man. I, I pressed the circle button. Alright. Alright, uh. Porky pig. I'm gonna, gonna take you over now. I've got you. Gotcha. Alright, let's try it one more time. Maybe we can. Let's focus on this, uh. This uh, truck here. Truck here now. Come on, come on. Oh. Did I get to it in time or? That truck can't hold out for long. Okay, I'm actually hitting it because. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Turn a plant right in front of you. That means I am not here anymore. <laughs> I, I just. You gotta love the silliness of, of it when, in the grand scheme of things. I do. I, I, was, a, I was a big fan of the Looney Tunes and stuff like that growing up, so. Never. I mean, they don't really have cartoons like that anymore. Isn't that my super violent? Nice work, Guru. The back doors are still holding tight, but the top of the vehicle's been blown wide open. Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Sprinting, give myself a bit of a, a bit of a. Think of myself tired? That is not the Cooper way. The Cooper way is to, you know, I'll have to chase after me. I was hoping I wouldn't even have to jump into the, the truck, but. Uh, Alright, let's see. We gotta find an advantage point that we can. Or not. It seems to keep. It's like purposely avoiding me. It's not cool game. Up and I could like go around in circles or whatever, and then I could get into it from there. But nope. 
Oh, no. Oh, come on. No, this would be perfect. Come on. Whee! This is it. Crack the safe and make the swap. No pressure, but I think the driver has figured out where to go. You don't have much time. Ah, nuts. Like as soon as I get to that spot, I'm good. There we go. Great work. Team Iceland is sure to blame the Belgians. They'll be all over each other in tomorrow's dogfight. <laughs> Aha, those silly Belgians. We are smarter than them. No, sorry. <laughs> I'm just... I kid, I kid. All right. Um, what's the next? I guess I, I think I have to swap to Murray. Yeah, swap to Murray for the next mission. So, let's go and do that. Um, might have to end it in the middle of an episode, but we might. We'll try to get as far as we can before we call the episode. Murray, you're on. You're up on top. The Murray is ready. All right. Yeah, let's just do the closest one. Why not? And a black foot, because I'm awesome. Looks like hard partying Team Iceland has already gone to sleep. Time to borrow one of their Viking helmets. Why do you need me? Just have Sly pick the lock to the door and steal the thing. This is a delicate business. We're trying to frame Team Iceland for a crime they haven't committed. If there's any evidence of their door being forced, people might believe that they're innocent. Man! You've gotten devious over the years. So, uh, how are we supposed to get inside? There are some sewer pipes beneath town that should connect up with the ventilation system of the hotel. Sly scrounged a raft for the trip, but be careful. Other pilots have caused trouble down there in the past, and the Baron is sure to have set up some security. I get to row a boat? Nautical! It's time to row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. So you know any good she shanty slide? Use the analog stick to steer the raft. Press the X button to row forward and the square button to row backwards. Oh, I actually have to press it multiple. Oh, that's awesome. I can't hold it down. I have to like mash it. Oh well, that's this actually isn't too bad. Uh, better than some other games, like uh, like one game I'm playing right now. The boat's kind of hard to control in it. I don't know if I want to say what I'm playing just to just to not date the thing, but you know, let's just say not every game gets <laughs> not every game gets the gets that right. You know what I mean? That was gonna be a bit of, okay, there we go. Yeah, now here comes the dangerous parts. Why would they have landmines down here? You're insane, Baron. You're a monster. No. Um, yeah, he's, he wants a strong, fair competition. Play what? <laughs> Surprised they didn't do something like that, have him do something like that, just to be so snobbish, you know. I mean, I don't know if snob is really the word, I, like the word I'd really describe the Baron for, but, you know, maybe, uh, but he kind of reminds me of a big game after or something like that, you know, like a, a Sunny Jim Duncan or something like that, you know. It's like, oh, ho, ho. I will hunt the dangerous, most dangerous fiend of all. Man. Actually, does man even exist in this world when you think about it? Because all the, all the animal or all the creatures are anthropomorphized, right? So, are human beings even a thing? I assume not. I mean, usually in world, worlds like you know Aesop's fables and stuff like that, where animals have hu have having human likenesses and tendencies, usually don't. Uh, no, usually don't have humans in those worlds. Sometimes they do, but very rarely. If they do, they're usually it's because they're like cartoons or something like that. But all right, that's not too bad. This is it. Make your way to the hotel ventilation system. Murray, stay and Good. guard the boat. Yeah, you're not really useful for anything else, Murray. Sorry. Sorry. No, we we spent all that time in in uh, Venice to uh, get you out, but no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, okay. Yeah, convenient how the Barons. Ooh, ooh. I mean, you know, all the, the Baron's traps conveniently just need someone who's good at acrobatics to, uh, to get through it. 
So you either have to be afraid of a Sly Cooper or a, or a Cirque du Soleil. Which one is the more dangerous? You decide! Nice work! You're almost there! Be careful not to wake these guys up! They're a paranoid group, and have probably set up some crude burglar alarms! Well, like a house of cards? Well, I mean, if you breathe on those things, they'll fall apart. Ooh. It's like Jenga for old people. You got bottles, you got uh, cans with string on them. Well, I guess that'd work if you fall into it. And the lights were out. Although, I guess in this case... Wait, what do Icelanders speak? Is it just Icelandic? No. I, I think it is actually. Now that I think about it. Let's just bang oh. on the door. But I can actually understand what they're saying. I'm not gonna wake them all up. Those guys will shoot at us tomorrow if we do that. Fine. Just go down to the front desk and ask for a spare. You can forget about me being your wingman tomorrow. I was just saying what they're saying. Nothing really super funny. Or anything like that. All right, we got that. And it has horns on, of course. Not to nitpick, but Viking helmets, most, uh, like, 99% sure didn't actually have horns. But, you know, it's one of those, like, um, like, fable type of stories now that people, it's almost just more for fun or fantastic than, than for historical reasons at that point, you know. I forgot when they proved it. It was a while back. It was, like, in the, like, early two, uh, like, early, late 90s, early 2000s, they proved that Viking helmets didn't have horns on them. There might be, there might have been like a weird exception, but I'm trying to remember where they got the idea that that uh, they had horns on them. I think it was from like some other culture that they thought were Vikings, but were just like more like Northern Raiders or something like that, or maybe like one or two people maybe actually did have horns on their helmets. But yeah, why would you put a horn on your helmet? It's like a better target to find you. That's why the whole idea of, of the the Germans or the crowd, the Kaiser in World War One put spi metal spikes on their helmets. It's like, yeah, let a let a sniper get you. Sorry, pal. The valve gates changed position. We need to escape through another tunnel. But fear not. The Murray has an unnatural sense of direction. The Murray might be wrong about that. I don't know. That's a, but yeah, we just have to. We basically just don't go the same way. So same thing. The currents have changed. How will Murray and Sly get through it? Oh, we'll find out right now. Uh oh. Looks like we have to deal with moving targets. Stay on target. Stay on target. Right there. Yeah, not too bad. I can. I can nail some. Oh. Right Luckily, the pressure on that actually isn't that bad, especially if you're actively trying to uh, 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 move past them. Almost, almost accidentally just skidded into it. I mean, we were just taking a little bit of damage. It wouldn't have instant killed us. We were just in a little bit of damage. Or at least, uh, as far as I remember, they don't insta, insta finish us off, so I could be wrong, but. Uh, I mean, we have a life bar. Otherwise, why would they give us a life bar if we can't survive like one or two hits? You know, otherwise they would just it would be empty. You know, it's like no, uh -oh, one hit, one hit, one KO, one life. What will you do with your life? I don't know. I just want to go bowling, man. Yeah. Now, I wonder. These are the sewers, right? I wonder how. I wonder how. You know, you know it's in the sewers. I wonder how rank it is. And actually, I don't think I'm trying to remember which what sewer, like what place in the world actually have sewers that are decently large size. I think I think there's some pipes in New York that are pretty big. Know, but, uh, New York City, I think, has some pretty big pipes, if I remember correctly, for sewage. I think there are some countries in Europe that do as well, but most most sewers aren't aren't super huge, you know, just big enough to like get a person to fit through, but not that much bigger, you know, to clean and everything. Nice job. You really showed some finesse with those oars. The Murray is, and always has been, finesse. Uh, yeah. You good to plant this helmet on the Belgian plane? Can do, pal. Can do with a vengeance. Hardcore vengeance, that's for sure. All right, let's go make our way over there. Do I have... Oh, 
Oh, can I actually lower that? Or is that for the, uh... No. Okay. Alright. Cool. Let's, uh... Too bad we can't, like... Like, stick... Like, keep using or hold down the button or whatever, so... He almost looks like a bull now that I think of it with his, like, with the horns on it and on the helmet on his back. You're kind of like, you could almost just say he is a bull, even though, you know, he's a hippo. And he is the most dangerous land mammal, so, you know, there you go. I was going to finish the episode now, but uh, since we're almost done with the mission, I'm going to play just long enough to finish this, which might make the episode run a little longer, but that's fine. It shouldn't take me too long anyway. That's Belgium's prize plane strung up from the ceiling. It's held in place by these anchors. Destroy them and the plane should come crashing down. Seems like these lasers might roast my hulking bulk. True. You'll have to compact yourself using your ball move to travel safely beneath the laser grid. Check! You'll need oh, to use your that's actually kind of cool. Attack to take out the anchors. Go into ball How do you do that? And quickly tap the square button to build up force. Then strike. Oh, that's nice job. Nice. Just three more to go. Why is this? This I'm trying to remember where this like this type of uh, gameplay mechanic comes from. Like, maybe Marble Madness or something like that. Just one more left. Do 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 do. Come on. Oh, mine just not far enough. All right, fine. And excellent work. Plant the Viking helmet, and the Belgians are sure to blame Team Iceland. <laughs> We're causing intergalactic turmoil with with our shenanigans. <laughs> yes, we pitted two friendly nations against each other. Even though this is these teams are a small representation and probably don't even aren't really truly patriotic to their nations but we did a thing and mainly it's to help us out with that work that's good that's good all right well we pitted two teams against each other now the last thing we need to do is to uh, protect our base from any narrow dwellers who cause us harm who will try to cause us harm will we impress uh pres pres Impress Penelope in the semifinals, preparing herself for the finale, uh, finals. Find out next time in the next episode of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.